Hello folks, welcome to another daily Bitcoin market analysis. First of all, I'm extremely sorry about what happened yesterday uh, because, you know, uh, I'm using this PC also for business. So I have a headset, you remember this headset where I was extremely quiet or silent and the quality wasn't good? Well, it is always connected because that's what I'm using to work. And at the same time, obviously, I'm using then when I'm going to record this analysis, this mic. And it seemed something happened yesterday with my settings. I still don't know exactly what. Now I checked the sound, I checked everything and it seems it works. So hopefully, because I'm going to check that. So unfortunately, in just 70 minutes, I have a MIDI. So I need to rush now a little bit. And initial comment yesterday, I just talked a little bit about what is happening in Germany uh, based on the tax agency. They announced they are going to hunt now some traders, crypto traders who are just making tax evasion. But and they announced they received a lot of data from a large exchange. It wasn't a large. It seems and uh, the rumors were that it was a Bitcoin exchange in Germany based and located in Germany. And that's not a big one. And yeah, so that's everything. Actually, um, we will talk more tomorrow. But today, really, I need to go forward. And well, you can see that they are, you know, uh, if we, 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 we check the, the park here, the local park and now it's like you know we have the the trend line here it breaked it was looking like hey retest and now everything looks like a trap it doesn't matter if to the upside if to the downside everything looks like a trap it doesn't matter we are going to trade it seems tiny uh, trade range but at the same time they will just liquidate everything it's just a wrecked market a really just a stupid wrecked market um, anyway we will see um, usually when they um, um, bounce here on the park usually also means uh, we should go up to the next park at 26 400 and then go down once again or something that's something we need to check but um, at the moment you know at the same time we have the trend line here so it's not uh, solid breakout yet we need to see if they are just retesting and then we will go down from here uh, we will see that so let us go forward and check the weights ratio 30 days moving average as you can see it's declining more uh, usually it should go up but it's a 30 days moving average so we need to see what's going to happen next. But of course, uh, that was yesterday or the day before. So um, Sunday, it was indicating the weights were sending more Bitcoins to centralized exchanges and usually also indicating they are preparing. Yeah, well, something like even if a partially um, um, sell off or something. So, yeah, at the moment, we really need to see if everything was a trap and we will go up i mean we received today inflation data inflation is not really declining um the just data looks a little bit different just indicating everything maintains maintaining inflation while these guys rise the interest rates and now to say we will pause here i will be careful maybe but I'm not sure about that. Absolutely not. Not if you really want to fight inflation. So, but at the same time, the Fed net liquidity went up recently. And that's why also uh, traditional stock markets are pushing up. Um, SPY, for example, going more up, more up, more up, just because of that. Uh, as mentioned so many times, markets only solid indicator you will always find is liquidity or oh, without any liquidity no market will move so at the moment we can see here for example that they want to let the price go up so they were just really distributing pushing 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 then the price went down now they are as you can see they are just saying hey come on no problem just go uh, up because that's what the ways just really just want um 
to to see so everything could end like a little bit bear trap and then just to liquidate the high leverage shorts i have tweeted today and it seems once again binance was front running it as usual recently binance has magic hands and also indicating that well Oh, let us not talk about market manipulation with Tether and so on and so forth. We know almost 30% of uh, the whole portfolio of Binance is Tether. That's only thing. Makes almost, um, yeah, almost um, something like 20% of the whole Tether supply. Not bad. Anyway, if we check that, we can see we went up uh, above of 90%. I have said from now on the price could flip we should be careful the price started to decline once again but at the moment doesn't look solid absolutely not it's trying to push up once again to break the trend line and everything would look like pff, nothing absolutely nothing so just to liquidate uh, high leverage positions and that's almost it from here so let us go forward So also here we can see they started to cash out here at the same time we received also stable coins here. Uh, if we check the um, here, for example, that's our net flow uh, related to stable coins looks almost like neutral. So almost nothing, uh, very low, very low of uh, the volume here related to inflows and outflows at the same time outflows relatively low also indicating they let the price go down in my opinion but um, yeah so pff, nothing um, changed here really since yesterday so related to futures futures since here just pushing up hard um, now declining a little bit but since um, yeah over the weekend uh, was up 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 and now we can see open interest declined a lot now recovering a little bit and leverage ratio almost following here so that's what they are doing very um, consistent to the open interest but also indicating they are using more leverage than volume uh, position volume and um, you know uh, people were demanding more longs more longs more longs and now it's flipping just because of the price it seems so that's how it looks like on the chart if we go forward and I need here for example just uh, okay so that was yesterday I guess this money here we are talking about almost 500 millions a half billion I think it's related with the swap the chain swap uh, and tether I don't know why it appears here because that's derivative wallet but it's possible that Binance has a wallet that is labeled by CQ as a derivative wallet and appears here as well it is possible because it would make sense if you have a swap and they are sending for example to another chain um, that it would appear here so it is possible not saying that's the fact just saying that's possible if we take a look but to the remaining data it looks like we still have a little bit more cash out than stablecoins coming into derivative exchanges and if we check for example here we can see that today uh, we received almost 3260 bitcoins in net flow so indicating we rece received more to derivative exchanges than outflows if we go forward and we check the aggregated we can see that the leverage ratio is recovering well open interest is taking that's something I have um, seen related to um, also the ratio and that's one thing that is also indicating me we are seeing something like a bank run at the moment because even the volume ratio between spot and derivatives where futures always is dominating now spot is lifting up and usually also indicating usually indicating that you know um, yes they are buying but we have bigger moves 
related also to convert for example sell their bitcoins and um yeah get the liquidity i have um, just tweeted a uh, few i don't know one hour ago or something that that's um, we have um, it's looking very unbalanced we have bigger amount in fiat taking out from centralized exchanges while on the other side from the inflows we are um, just noticing more crypto hitting to centralized exchanges usually this context or this combination would just indicate us someone is selling and they are taking out and then of course the spot volume would go up um, but at the same time related to CBD and that's something we will check just uh, in a few minutes is really that um, it seems they are pushing the price at the moment more with futures than with spot. So however, uh, yesterday they liquidated 380 bitcoins and longs and 170 bitcoins and shorts. Now let us check the blockchain whispers. Once again, all these data, if you are saying, ah, I don't trust these uh, information. Once again, this information is coming directly from Binance, root data. Okay, if you don't trust them, you, don't, you will not trust, of course, Binance data as well, because they are just showing its balance and their balance is 1.8 billion versus 800 million in favor of loans and that's huge so almost 70 percent to 30 percent or here 67 percent versus 33 percent once again on ethereum looks a little bit better and well bit phoenix uh, 34 millions in short so from the 44 we had and 2.5 billions now um 2.4 billions everything looks like nothing big will happen at the moment so if we check Binance now here, we can see we have a lot of high leverage shots, it seems, but you remember 21 millions, we had 180, we had even 500 millions and higher in liquidation clusters not happening. So also indicating something is happening on Binance. That's also something we should mm, be careful. If that's true here, because everything here, what you see is calculated by an algorithm developed by the Kingfisher, means we should go up to 27,400 to liquidate all these high leverage positions. So now let us take a look at the high leverage. Oh, I have the credits. I don't know why it's doing always the same. So yeah. So um, 10 millions, that's a lot, if that's true, between 26 and 26,200. So we could go up uh, to liquidate all of them and then go down once again. That would be absolutely possible, it seems. Something we need to see, to be honest, if that's going to happen. TA indicating something different, but you know, um, TA is always something where I would be careful. Anyway, so that's about futures. Now, now let us go forward. So what we see here once again, we see that tether pairs declined a lot, now stabilizing that's on Binance, that's aggregated. Now, once again, who is front running everything? Once again, BUSD. BUSD did exactly the same. They front run here, now they, f they are front running here. Actually, they started to reduce or to decline even more when the price started to push up. They pushed up with futures. They pushed up even, as you can see, with USD. They are right now lifting up, lifting up while BUSD is declining. And of course, futures did exactly the same. So futures right now, as you can see, are here. Once again, the asset that is dominating the price action. Binance with BUSD started really, I would say almost here. 
a little bit lower yeah almost here to distribute so close before we start to go down and futures just yeah almost the same almost the same uh but with coin march and contracts so is binance using their bitcoin reserves no no let us say no so um well, Bitfinex, as you can see, uh, was very volatile in their CVD and now maintaining, lifting up a little bit, but nothing big. Bybit still reducing, reducing, reducing. Coinbase now started to lift up while the price declined, I guess because they are expecting that the price should go up and we can make a swing trade. Um, then we see that Bitstamp also unchanged. We can see, for example, here that Kraken um, started. <laughs> Someone could say Kraken is the dominating exchange here. Of course not. And of course, Gemini pushing, pushing up. But you see the scale, it's not big at all. Then uh, something to see here. No, no, no. We can see that market maker sent 1,800 bitcoins tonight, and here another 600, 700, 800 bitcoins again. So I'm not sure if that's it, or we will go down a little bit more. Miners still reducing their reserves, but nothing big anymore and the wall uh the weights ratio on bitfinex still relatively high on bitstamp gemini and bitfinex and every every single every other remaining exchange declined a lot so those as mentioned gemini bitfinex and bitstamp looks at least related to the weights ratio relatively bearish now um fund holdings fund holdings just bought 11, 11 bitcoins, <laughs> so unchanged. Uh, we can see that the um, you know trading volume ratio spot versus derivatives is now flipping a little bit more in favor of spot, and yeah, that's that's the thing. You know, we are talking about trading volume. So well, trading volume means buy and sells. Uh, that's the thing. If they are selling at the moment, of course, it should go up. But on the other side, related to CBDs, we have seen that they are more pushing the price down with futures and less with uh, spot. At least that's what this was indicating. This chart here would a little bit tell us a different story in saying, mm -mm, no, no. It's more spot than futures, and that's why this curve is right now just flipping. Okay, that's it from here. Let us go forward. So on Coinbase, unchanged, they are bringing some sell orders and 27.5, at 27.2, um, also here 26.5. Uh, reinforcing also bringing some liquidity at 25.2 bringing uh, reinforcing 25 and that's almost it and 20k okay but that's almost it now bitstamp what is bitstamp indicating almost the same they removed a lot of sell orders for example uh, we have here now something like a gap that would allow to push up the price but I'm absolute, I have my doubts that Bitstamp is the leading centralized exchanges. They're reinforcing 24, for example. They're also reinforcing 25.3 and also lower areas of 22 and so on. So Binance, BTC, USDT, for example, you can see um, that they are reinforcing everything below of 25.5 once again. So if you want to go down, it's fine because that's, it seems also in our favor and our interest, not favor. So they reduce, for example, liquidity at 27.5 or sell orders and they shifted a lot of those volume to 27K and they um, uh, reinforced the the, uh, the walls at 26.5 and a little bit more below. At the same time, they are here. You can see 
controlling the price and also waiting between 25.5 and 25.3 that's what I said as soon as we are here we need to recheck the market if we are um, seeing something else uh, they are also here 23k just reinforcing they reinforced 22 they shifted from 20,500 to 21 bringing so some liquidity is going more to the downside could be an indication but also spoofing if we take a look to BUSD D pair nothing changed since yesterday. Bitfinex, BTC, USD. On Bitfinex, for example, they are waiting at 25.2. So it would match a little bit with what I said that we need to recheck the market, what's happening at that level. Bitfinex is waiting there. Everything else looks like algorithm shitty, like as usual on Bitfinex. Then Orcax, nothing here. Now Kraken, on Kraken uh, they are um, also reinforcing it seems 27.5 but they reinforce 25.3 so once again 25.3 uh, they reduced even a little bit so they are they don't have any any expectations that the price could go even lower it seems lower than 25.3 now bitmax and bitmax still waiting here at 25.3 so 25.3 looks relatively solid in my opinion so 500 dollars more down than make such kind um yeah just uh where's our support area and then push up once again will be possible now derivatives now once again buy it with usd pair nothing to see here absolutely nothing uh, I'm not sure if that's really a s short order at 26,300 could be possible. Now BTC USDT mm, on buy with nothing. Now BTC USDT on Binance. You can see that they are waiting between 26,300 and 26,700 to short, but 25,5 to 25,3 too long and even a little bit lower and usually the price does exactly that at the same time we have here a night stair structure indicating 23.8 also possible but usually they are maintaining it they are just really maintaining it could be spoofing then they take it out and then we go down or even up on BUSD with derivatives looks a little bit different. They are really waiting still at 27.5. It's absolutely not uh, yet, not not really, mm, mm, not really clear to me if they are just uh, you know if if these guys are just uh, spoofing here or yeah, not not really clear. On Bitfinex was also clear what they did, but also here they removed so a lot of spoofing happening on Bitfinex uh, on both sides. So also here, for example, 26.5, we still have, if we reduce a little bit, we can see that we still have more uh, shorters um, between 26.4 and 26.8. So even would be possible to go more up, but also here at 24,870 and that's it. Now Kraken Futures, nothing. OKEX Futures, nothing. And Deribit, Deribit is reinforcing 23,500. So tonight could be the time where we are going to see a sharp price move it would be possible to the downside then and then afterwards go up once again so i would be careful to be honest